Freed. Um, today we're going to be talking about hurricanes and tornadoes. So earlier in the year we learned about the difference between a hurricane and a tornado. And the biggest difference is a hurricane forms over water while a tornado forms over land. They both form similarly though because they form when warm air and cold air mix together and start to swirl. Our tornado though swirls down and touches the ground and a hurricane continues to swirl over the water, creating a storm that eventually reaches land. Today, using some basic household items, we're going to be creating our own hurricane and tornado. Now, I wanted to try and create some demonstrations you guys can do that use the least um, amount of materials, as well as a lot of things that you have in your house. So I'm also trying to make the best of what I have. So the first one we're going to make is our hurricane. So I'm going to be making my hurricane in this jar. So you just want to make sure you have two jars, one for your hurricane, one from your tornado. And for the hurricane, all you need is about a quarter of a cup to a third of a cup of opaque um, soap. I didn't have enough, so what I did is I mixed some dish soap with some leftover hand soap. I'm just going to mix that together because you want it to be opaque because we're going to be mixing it with water. So I'm going to pour my soap into my first jar. And there it is. And the next important part is you're now going to be filling the rest of your jar up with water, but you're going to continue to fill it up with water even when the suds start coming from the soap. Once the suds start bubbling and overflowing, um, you're gonna keep it running until they're all gone. Okay, so I'm gonna fill it up. I'm gonna wait for my suds to be all gone. So you can see it's bubbling over a little bit, but that's okay. I want to wait until they're all gone. Just moving it around. like you can add a few drops of food coloring safely in. Put your top on and then you're going to begin to swirl it like the warm and cold water mixing together. And so I didn't have enough soap, but you can see it just there a little bit. You can see the soap particles will begin to mix as you swirl it together. You see there, they're resting. Okay. So the second extreme weather storm we are making is a tornado. And so remember, a tornado forms over land during a rainstorm, just like a hurricane, but a tornado is a singular funnel of cloud that doesn't become a tornado till it touches down. Um, our tornado as well only lasts for a few minutes, while a hurricane um, can last for a lot longer than that. For your tornado, you're going to need a jar and a lid again, some water, some clear dish soap, vinegar, and food dye. So again, I'm using what I have. So I only have apple cider vinegar. Um, so I recommend that you try and use what you have as well. So we are going to fill our jar with about three quarters full of water.
Okay. The next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to add three to five drops of blue food coloring. Um, depending on the size of your jar, I'm probably only going to add about three because my jar is not that big. And then you're then going to mix it together or press it and you're going to add a teaspoon of dish soap and a teaspoon of vinegar to the blue water. You're then going to tighten the lid. Um, again, I would recommend that when you start swirling, you do this over the sink, just in case it spills. Or you can, if you have a hot glue gun available, you can hot glue the lid. And holding it by the lid, you're going to begin to swirl it. And if I bring it close to you as I swirl, you can begin to see the cyclone forming and tornado touching the bottom. So there it goes. So I hope you guys try these out at home. I've also included links to videos about tornadoes and hurricanes. And after you create your own hurricane and tornado, make sure to create a Venn diagram comparing and contrasting the similarities and differences. For example, I know that both of these storms uh, form when cold air and warm air mix, but a hurricane forms over water and a tornado forms over land. I'll see you guys next week. Bye.